The story I'm going to tell, my coming out story, may be familiar to some fans of The L Word. I'm Eileen Chaikin, I'm a lesbian. I was in my early 20s, probably 23, out of college. I had moved to Los Angeles and I was um, at loose ends. And I was living with the guy who had been my boyfriend in college, but was not my boyfriend anymore. And I knew that everything had to change, but I hadn't articulated to myself how it had to change. I had been a trainee at Creative Artists Agency for almost three years, and I finally decided to venture out to get a new job. And I was on my way to the job interview, and on day one, I crashed my car. On day two, I rescheduled the job interview, and again, I crashed my car. Where I crashed my car is key. There is this little cafe on Melrose Avenue that I had started hanging out at. And although I didn't really admit to myself why I was hanging out there, I had been told that the owners of the cafe were lesbians, which was utterly scandalous. I'd never met a lesbian in my life and I was kind of there like as a tourist to see what they were like and I just happened to go there pretty much every night of the week after work and sit at the bar and order an espresso and my hands would shake from drinking espresso and the proprietress of the cafe who was this super cool lesbian would talk to me and so when I crashed my car that day it was right outside the coffee shop one of the waitresses who worked for her came out and saw me and told her that I had crashed my car right outside the coffee shop. And later that day, I was home in bed recovering and she came over and brought me coffee and pastries from the coffee shop and asked me on a date. That became my first romance. And I started a little love affair with her. Within two days, I realized that my entire life had just changed and I was ready to get married, give up my career and become a barrister. And then she said to me, oh, my girlfriend is coming home from Europe in three days. She's been in Europe all summer long. I can't wait for you to meet her. And I was just utterly stunned because I thought I was married. I thought I was done. I had fallen in love and that would be my life. That happens to be, for those who followed it closely, the story that I told for Jenny in the first season of The L Word. Marina, who was the proprietress of the coffee shop, The Planet, was admittedly a little more glamorous than my lady friend, but it was the same story. Jenny keeps going to the coffee shop, flirting with Marina, but saying, oh, but I'm not really gay, and Marina's knows perfectly well why she's there and seduces her and then says to her, and my lover will be home soon and I'd love you to meet her. And Jenny is devastated. That's the story that became the story of my life. So after that, I was a lesbian. I knew it. I didn't use the word. I think it took some time to come to terms with even calling myself gay and many years before I would use the word lesbian. And I just simply started living as a lesbian. I wasn't a particularly bold person, but I just didn't know how to lie. So when I went to work parties, I took my girlfriend. When I went out in the world, I was with a woman. Nobody thought of me as anything other than gay. That's who I was. This photo, I believe this was my third grade school photo. I could have been eight years old here. The smile is not a real smile. That's a smile that's all about pleasing people and making everybody else, in particular my parents, feel that everything was okay. And that was the only smile I knew for a very long time. What I would tell that little girl is not to try so hard to make everybody else feel okay. You can scowl, you can be a little more demanding and let people know how you feel. Finally coming out as a lesbian lifted so many um, curtains on my life. Living honestly as yourself is, is the most important thing. That was really the, the biggest change for me. I think that I actually started to smile for the first time. 